I'm your host, Paul Quigley, and I am thrilled to be back in the hot seat and to be hosting Steve Salvador um, from APCO Worldwide as our Okay, well, let's switch gears to our to a rapid fire round where we're going to jump in on a couple of food trends. Is this going to be a long-term keeper or, or a stinker? I don't think there are too many Girl Scout cookies yet. I remember the, the neighborhood kind of door-to-door uh, campaigns and, and just the fact that they're not always available. They were like the limited edition before limited edition, you know, was a thing. And, and there, I think there's an anticipation and an excitement whenever they kind of release something new. So I'm, I'm intrigued. Sometimes I complain they look a little bit dry. This looks, this looks intriguing. Uh, next, we have uh, McDonald's launching their plant-based burgers. So here's a big shift for McDonald's. This is, I think, just further validation that plant-based has, has definitely gone mainstream when McDonald's is putting out a, um, uh, a plant-based burger. I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued about the taste. Uh, you know, I figure like, um, you know, a report of the week probably on YouTube will be all over this. Plant-based getting mainstream acceptance is, um, you know, is a good thing. And it, it'll, it'll be interesting to see, though, how, how, how taste evolves. Certainly, it looks like it's definitely going one way. And we don't know where the, the, the next uh, balance point, I suppose, will be between, between meat and plant. So <laughs> this is uh, Kraft partnering with uh, Van Leeuwen. Leuven, Leuven, my Dutch yeah. isn't great. Uh, <laughs> they launched mac and cheese ice creams. So a lot of people are looking forward to um, Kraft finally entering the frozen treats game. Is this wonder, a long term thing or, or it, a novel yeah. thing? You know, I wonder too, are those likes, like they tried it and liked it or liked it like, oh, I, I might want to try that or <laughs> just just the, you know, the, how, how daring it actually is. But I think it's another thing that's definitely going to stir up uh, engagement. I think any any kind of, you know, experimentation with with flavors and savory ice creams or something that you might dare your uh, your friend to eat. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I am I am curious who comes up with these flavors and how. And, and why? I have a lot of questions about that. I think that would also be another interesting kind of avenue to pursue here. <laughs> this one feels like someone who got the idea of nostalgia cells, but I'm wondering if this is the right application of yeah. nostalgia cells. Oh, I miss, I miss mac and cheese, so I'm going to get some <laughs> mac and cheese ice cream. There may be good and a bad way to, 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 to do that trend, right? Right, right. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. I don't know how that will go over.